Hello everybody and welcome back. This is just another status update, as you will. I added the mineral thingies, the hoppers. This is just two tiers. Everything's on the deck. I'm gonna spawn it in now. The ship is fully loaded. I increased uh, the uh, liquid capacity. So the main holding tank is 200,000 liters. And then it has two spare tanks of 60,000 apiece. So it's what, 320,000 liters of liquid is in there. Um, about the only thing I, yeah, about the only thing I don't have are the, uh, is the, the slurry filters. The slurry filters. Yeah, so I don't have a, a, the slurry filters and the environment station for cleaning up oil spills. That's sort of the last little bit. That's probably going to be on the front. Uh, but I just wanted to show pretty much there. This will be pretty much the final configuration. Uh, the slurry stuff I'll probably have down below deck in a room somewhere. All right, so we'll spawn this in. And I was thinking what I'll do is I'll have desalinators. So it doesn't carry slurry, but when you're out somewhere um, doing whatever you need to do, it, I think it can make slurry. Or maybe it'll have to carry slurry. I'll have to think of that. Look at that. This is how, how deep we're getting into the water now. Fully loaded. Fully, fully loaded. Right, so we're nearing, we are nearing our maximum, absolute maximum displacement with the ship. That's why I'm thinking if I add the slurry and the slurry filters and an area to clean up oil spills, just that equipment alone, plus the final equipment inside, that's pretty much going to be where we're at. So yeah, very, uh, I like it. It's very industrial looking. Keep the helicopter pad it moves around a little bit because the cranes aren't locked into place and they kind of move and this machine in the back i didn't realize how heavy this machine actually is it is massive oh i can fit through there that's cool this machine here is massive it's so massive see i have all these uh sliders it's pulling the whole boat backwards uh with the sliders the weight of it so I'm gonna have to find a way to, uh, similar to when I went to space, with the doors kind of moving around, right? I have to find a way to lock all this stuff into place, lock the cranes down, uh, because if we hit, uh, yeah, you see there, it's starting to move that way. If we hit some big waves, even these uh, the cranes are gonna start to move around, and that mass and all that momentum and motion is gonna cause the boat to do some pretty interesting things, right? which we don't want to happen way out in the middle of nowhere. <clears throat> yeah, so it's coming along. It is coming along. We're, we need a stairwell to get up in here still. You know, a few things, right? That's it. The pipe, all the oil pipe is down below deck here in a room. So we're going to be able to open this door and then I have on the derrick here, there's a, a pipe thing that'll come down through the door. We'll be able to pick up pipe. There's 400 feet of pipe here. So we should be pretty good. We should be able to reach oil all over in most, most deposits, depending on where they are, we should be able to reach them. And containers too, right? So this thing's gonna be a little money maker, a workhorse, the workhorse. So what I did for the minerals is, I guess I don't have a way of unloading yet. But I'll make a way of unloading at the bottom. Basically the minerals come in here, these hoppers. And then as you can see, there's these other hoppers that will slide out to the side over the dock. And they can empty into a truck or whatever. Cool. 
yeah and then I think the next video is gonna be a wave test I think we're pretty much ready to test it on the waves <laughs> so stay tuned that's gonna be exciting thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one